Alan, would you say this increase in tourism says something about the tourists? They're educating themselves more about crime in South Africa. Well, I think obviously we've got uh, more aggressive in our marketing. Um, I also think that the World Cup had a massive in influence on uh, how we managed to position ourselves globally and also in new markets. So, you know, from the post World Cup, we saw uh, visitors coming to our region from Mexico, which we'd never seen before. Wow. Uh, and, and, and in serious numbers. We, and South America started growing much faster than before. Um, and I think also because of our marketing campaigns, that's why we're seeing growth out of China and India and, and uh, sort of new markets there and high growth. 20, uh, if I remember correctly, 28% out of, out of India, 44% out of China. Those are the growth rates year on year. And that's wow. really exciting. Um, Alan, I, um, we've heard reports that Cape Town's going to get its own cruise um, dock pretty soon. Um, how do you think this is going to affect um, tourism to the city? Do you think it's going to have a marked increase or um, yeah, what do you foresee for that? Well, we've been working on this for a while and we've been monitoring the cruise line industry across the world um, and also noticing that in South Africa, uh, we, we are a destination. We do receive the, you know, the, the big vessels doing their round the world trips as well as we have our summer season where the local waters cruise liners you know around south africa and moving up to the indian ocean islands that those cruise liners are resident and so we know that if we if we create the the expansion in the port and specifically the terminal which uh, at the moment if you arrive here on the on the queen mary and uh, your first time in Africa, your first time in Cape Town, you have this most spectacular view of coming up with a mountain and the city, mm -hmm. and then you come into the harbour with this backdrop, yeah. and then you've got to exit yeah. to an industrial port, and that really doesn't bode well for tourism. We need to exit tourists into our waterfront. We need to exit tourists into our tourist-friendly uh, facilities. So that's why I think the cruise line terminal is going to be a key game changer in uh, not only just our offering as it is, but also creating the environment that will allow for growth. And Alan, what is this increase in tourism going to do for our economy? Well, of course, uh, in the Western Cape, the tourism economy is a major player in our overall economy. It's uh, one of the biggest sectors and uh, at the moment takes up 10% of our total economy. And we really are working very hard on pushing it to 15%. So as a, as a lever in the economy, it's one of, those, uh, one of those areas that people can get into tourism. The barriers to entry are generally not as high as some of the much more technical or professional levels uh, or, or, or economies. And then I think uh, it also allows great scope for SMME, uh, SMMEs and, and small businesses to take up much of the offering or create much of the offering and whether that's supplying transport or supplying goods and services into the into the tourism economy or directly involved whether it be in small hotels and bed and breakfasts and you know yachting holidays and whatever um, the, the barriers to entry are less and so that's really great news for our economy because it allows far more people to take up the slack um, and uh, you know and help us in our quest to get to 15% of our economy